so hello guys welcome to the next video of uh, web technology as uh, web technology lab assignment number four so now in last two videos we have created a dbconnect.php file and a register.php file so we have done the registration now we'll go for login form so i'll create a new file and i will save it with the login.php name okay so in this file first of all we'll write php tag okay so then in this i'll include my dbconnect.php file with the help of require underscore one statement there i will provide the name dbconnect.php so this i will do first then after this we'll start this session here so because in this uh, login.php we have to do the session management now after this we'll go for the login form course already we have done the login form in assignment number one so i'll use that code here uh, this is login form okay so i will copy and paste this code in my this file okay so you can see that there is username and password field only so here i'll do that okay so now after this we'll check okay now you can see that there is a login button which is having submit name there is a reset button which is having name reset okay so here we'll check whether our button has been clicked or not so right if okay so if is set in bracket dollar underscore post okay so here access the button name so button name is submit okay then inside this will access the values of input fields so before this we'll declare we will define the variables so dollar username equal to dollar password is equal to empty value okay so this initialization we'll do first and then we'll start with the first variable that is username so call trim method here trim function and then access the values with the help of dollar underscore post okay so use this field name here okay so the field name is here username so use that name here after that for dollar password again do the same thing dollar underscore post then password so this field name you can you have to use here so we are access the two values here now we'll check okay but here okay so here we'll check whether these two values are empty or not so i'll use dollar username is equal to empty or i'll use okay so dollar username is equal to empty and dollar password is equal to is equal to equal to empty so i'll check whether these values are empty or not so if these values are not empty if you if th these two values are not empty that time will go for the operation if these two values are not empty then we will check the values are available in database or not so here i'll write a query that is with the help of again this variable dollar sql uh, dollar sql sql variable i will de define here and here i'll write select star from so select star from student is my table name so where username is equal to dollar username so i'll access the username value here and i'll access the password value again here so which is stored in password variable so all these variable uh, variables that i'm accessing here i'll, I, I'll write into uh, i'll quote it into double single quotes now after this we'll execute this query with the help of 
function so i'll write here mysql r underscore query so this function i will write and here i'll access the reference of connection data with connection dollar con and then the sql variable where the query is stored okay now after this i'll check okay i'll check the count okay i'll check the count because after executing this query it should uh, show the count one okay it should have a count one or it should uh, return a single row so that we can consider that the data is present otherwise uh, the data is not present okay so dollar count is equal to my sqli underscore num underscore rows okay so this function we can use so where i'll pass this variable that is dollar query which is already calling my mysql under uh, i underscore query so this will return the count so i'll check if dollar count is equal to equal to one so if dollar uh, if the count is one if it is returning a single row then i'm going to transfer control to the the next file so i'll write location and i'll write welcome dot php here okay so here after that if count is not there so i'll display i'll display here uh, an alert box so i'll write script tag inside echo statement so right here username or password is incorrect okay so this statement i will display in alert box after this we'll go for next else block because if it is not empty okay if it is empty means here i have check if it is not empty so if it is empty then it will display it will display again in script tag in alert box so i'll write here i'll write here username and uh, okay also all fill fill should not be blank so this i will write here okay so that i have checked here and after that for this l if block i'll write else i'll leave it blank so here we have done the code for login form so you can see that i check okay so now see we have forgotten uh, we have we have left the uh, session management here so when the count is one so when it returns one uh, a row it will uh, transfer the control to the next file that is welcome.php here uh, with the help of header uh, function after that it will do one thing that is it will uh, record the session so here i'll write dollar underscore a session so i'll create a session that is username okay then i'll store the username value in this session okay so this is the session variable that is username and in this session variable i have stored the value of this username variable okay so this will be helpful for us on next page to check whether my account is logged in or not okay so here we have done the session management okay now i'll create a welcome.php file so i'll create new file so this is welcome.php now okay so in this file i'll write a simple code i'll write just i'll just write to echo you are successfully or i will write just welcome here okay so just for testing now we'll implement we will run this login form okay so now go to our web browser so go to our project 
okay localhost url and project is practical okay now here is login.php i'll open this okay so currently it is not working it is not working just we'll see it is not working something missing is there semicolon is given everywhere okay the semicolon is missing here so we'll provide semicolon here okay so now we'll return back and we'll load our file okay so this is my student login form so already in last uh, video we have done the registration of of this user that is kumar username is kumar password is kumar so i'll use that same username password here so i'll type kumar and then password kumar okay now the uh, user has been logged in successfully now it is showing welcome which is it is which is defined in welcome.php file okay so we'll stop here so the next part i will explain in next video so remaining part i will explain in next video so thank you for watching my video so like comment and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel so bye bye thank you for watching video